One of the most credible witnesses we interviewed was an Australian minister, the Reverend William Gill, posted before the time of his sighting to the Anglican mission in Boinai, Papua New Guinea. One night at 7.45, as he stood with 38 other people at the edge of the mission playing field, every one of them saw the same thing. Can you imagine what it's like to look up in the sky and see a totally foreign looking object there uh, just hovering uh, not very far high up maybe two or three hundred feet uh, up in the air and glowing and two uh, bipods jutting out from behind it from uh, underneath it and sparkling all around and some figures up there this solid looking object and figures walking about on top and not the slightest noise whatsoever and so we waved wouldn't it be wonderful if we could get this object down onto the playing field and as we waved wondering whether we'd get some recognition and whether perhaps they would uh, understand what we wanted, they waved back. So I asked a boy to go quickly down, bring me a torch, bring me a pencil, bring me paper, and uh, return as quickly as he can so that I can get if, or any other events that occur, and minute by minute movements, um, so that at least we'd be able to, uh, to talk about it the next day. And this he did very, very quickly. He brought it back and he brought the, to the torch and put the torch on and shone it to the, the craft. And uh, as he did so, he waved the, or uh, moved the torch uh, this way. And we were dumbfounded when we looked at the craft and the craft was as though it was responding to the torch. Uh, it began to do this too, you know, like a... Uh, a, a disc-shaped object just uh, moving the same way uh, responding to the, t to the movement of the torch. Next day, uh, just prior to the evening service, about seven o'clock, um, the thing was there again. It uh, had arrived uh, about an hour earlier and um, we all decided to uh, have the normal even song that we uh, do have on, uh, on those uh, nights. Uh, because, uh, well, the thing was out there outside the church anyway, and, and uh, we felt it wouldn't go away during the service, uh, and it didn't. Uh, when we came out, uh, there it was, still up in the sky. And so, for another hour or two, we watched. Um, and then, suddenly, it did go. And uh, there was this amazingly incredible speed uh, that the whole craft disappeared uh, to nothing. Uh, across the bay uh, in a matter of a second or so. Well now, what are we to think of this kind of phenomenon? People claiming to see uh, th things such as I did. There were 38 of us and we all believe that we saw it, but of course we don't expect other people to believe us if, we, if they don't want to. Uh, 